Okay, so we are continuing, or we're resuming, should I say, our football club history series. Now, in one of my Irish League of Ireland club videos, there was a comment in the comment section saying I should look at the Norwegian League. Uh, one of my subscribers is from Dublin, and he mentioned that he has a relative who lives in Oslo, who's a massive football fan, and supports one of the local clubs in Oslo. And uh, I was debating at the time whether to look at Norwegian clubs or uh, Austrian clubs. And he said, just look at the Norwegian League, it'd be kind of fun. So... Without any further ado, we are starting with the oldest club in Norway. Now, we've done some videos on Norwegian clubs before. SK Braun was the most recent. We've done Rosenberg, and I believe we've done Mulder, although I'll have to double-check on Mulder uh, if I have. I believe I have, but I've done some Norwegian clubs before. We're going to look at Odds BK. Now, the BK stands for Ball Club, which is the Norwegian way of saying football club. They play at the Skagerrak Arena in Skien, which is in the Telemark region, which is in the north of Norway. That has a capacity of 11,767. The club itself, initial founding, predates the Football Club Foundation. Uh, the initial club was founded in 1885 as IF Odd, which was a multi-sports club, which focused on Nordic cross-country skiing and gymnastics. The football department of that club was founded in 1894, which makes it, as I say, the oldest football club still in existence in Norway. Now, for a brief period, they were known as Odd Grenland between 1994 and 2013. That was due to a sponsorship agreement and also to try and raise the profile of the Grenland uh, district in the Telemark region uh, in northern Norway. Uh, that agreement ended uh, in 2009 on the sponsorship side of things and the name change was confirmed in 2013 back to Odds BK. Now, the club itself has the record for the longest ever headed goal. That happened in 2011. Jona Samuelsson headed a ball in from his own half at 56 plus metres. They got the Norwegian police to, to measure it. The opposition team had pulled the goalkeeper up for a set play. They fluff it up. They go down the other end. Ball comes to him and he heads it in from his own, from over the halfway line. That is a record for the longest goal ever scored in a football match by, by a player's head. Uh, the Norwegian police actually had to measure it, looking at the video footage and, of course, positioning. They got all their you know, radar guns and take, me take measures out, and uh, they measured it for him. It's in the Guinness World Records. Uh, also, as the oldest club in Norway, fun fact, never won the Norwegian League, but they've won a joint record 12 Norwegian football cups. Very odd fact, that, excuse the pun, but it is. Uh, it's very strange. They've been runners-up in the Norwegian League twice, never won it, but they've won the Norwegian Football Cup a joint record 12 times, and that is their only success comes in the cup competition. Now, the Norwegian Football Club is started in 1902. So this is a few years before Norway is fully independent as a country in 1905. So in 1902, uh, they start up a uh, the league and, and uh, Norwegian Football Cup for Norwegian clubs. Odds win it four times in the first five years. In fact, um, by the time 1922 comes around, which is the 20th anniversary of the competition, they've won it eight times out of 20. It's about 40% or thereabouts um, of trophies awarded in this competition have gone to this club at that point. Uh, they would win more after that. It's also their last major honour in 2000. So it's been a while since they've won, and there was a long gap between their dominant period and their latest trophy. So without any further ado, let's have a look at their honours section, which is just one competition they dominate. 1903, 1904, 1905, 1906. Four times in a row in the first five years this competition exists, they win it. They win it again in 1913, 1915, 1919, and on the 20th anniversary of the Norwegian Football Cup being a competition, they win it in 1922. Eight times in 20 years they win the, the Norwegian Cup, basically. It's ridiculous. They win it again in 1924 and in 1926. They win it again in 1931. They don't win it again until 2000, which is that joint record coming in. That is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. So in their early years, and in the early years of organised football in Norway, they dominate the cup. Can't win in the league. They've been runners-up twice, though. Well, I just find that very, very strange and a, a kind of a weird fact that this is a true cup team. Now, I can see some comparisons with some other clubs we've looked at who've never won a league title but have won a lot of silverware in cup competitions. I can think of West Ham, for example, uh, in England. Never won the league title, but in the various cup competitions they've entered, they've won. Uh, and there's a few clubs in Switzerland uh, we've looked at who, again, never won the league title. All their success comes uh, in cups. 
And there's a little club in Italy that we've we've done a video on before they won their latest trophy. Uh, that again, only success had come in the uh, Coppa Italia, which was Atalanta. They've just won a European trophy for the first time in their existence, and they've never won the league. So some clubs, this is what happens. They can't have that league success. They're very good in the cup competitions. And it is ridiculous that they've got a joint record in this competition. And even so, with that joint record, haven't won the competition since 2000. That's 24 years without a trophy. That is just pure, in my opinion, it's just stunning. Absolutely stunning. That, um, you know, they... they they had this successful spell between 1903 and 1931, and then they didn't win again for 79 years. It's just absolutely stunning to me. And then they win one more, and they haven't won for another 24 years. It's a very interesting club, this. But there we go. There's a brief history of Odds uh, BK. Um, the most interesting club, in my opinion, because they've never won the league title Joint record in the Norwegian Cup. Oldest club in Norway. And, um, yeah, it's just a fun one. And we will look at some more Norwegian clubs in the coming weeks. Um, but I thought it would be fun to look at the oldest club in Norway. And then we can just look at some of the other clubs in Norway. And there's some really interesting clubs and some great players have come out of Norway. Um, we think of Alf Inge Haaland, the father of Erling Haaland. Those, you've got Carew, John Carew. you had Morten Gamst Pedersen. John Dahl Thomason, some great players have come out of Norway. The women's national side is obviously more successful than the men's, and that's why I think the Norwegian league gets overlooked. But hey, that's that. It, it's going to be fun looking at these Norwegian clubs. Anyway, that's enough from me rambling. From me for now. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you are a fan of a Norwegian football club, please, uh, you know, uh, in the comments below, uh, tell me what club you follow. And don't worry, we will be looking at a lot of the clubs in the, in the in the top two divisions in Norway. We're going to have some fun. There's some really interesting clubs in Norway. Some of them are very, very successful. Some are very well known uh, to those outside of Norway. And some, like Odds BK, for example, are less well known, but nonetheless still hold that cup record. But for me, for now, thank you very much for watching. I'll have some more content for you guys very, very soon.